have it down at the Brothers Show Sunday. Well, what we've done is we've eliminated the hoop on the bottom and raised it on the top. Um, we haven't changed anything as far as the trailing arm mounts. We've done a lot of research. We've found no reason to change the angle. More ground clearance across the bottom and then more driveline clearance across the top. Well, we've got our standard 4-6 drop, 2.5-inch drop spindles, 5 lug disc brake conversion, 800 series power steering gearbox. Um, Rare Parts was nice enough to donate all of the suspension, the ball joints, tie rods, control arm shaft. Uh, Fearless Gear was watching the live feed and noticed that we needed the rear end, so they called telling me, hey, we're loading in the truck and on our way. Um, our shop is called Fearless Gear Inc., and all we do is nothing but differentials. Everything from your everyday repair to your narrowing, your custom stuff. Uh, we do uh, five lug conversions, like these trucks are all six lugs, some of the old ones. And they'll switch them over to the five lugs just for uh, uh, different styles of wheels. Uh, we tore it um, apart. We uh, checked for straightness. Took it down to uh, Blast Tech and they uh, baked it and blasted it so it's clean. Threw some paint on there for them and we put a, a mini spool in there. They can make it a tire fryer. Hey, I'm Mike from Driveline Service, and uh, Richard told me about the build, and uh, so what we've got here is a 1350 series uh, Pro Molly Sonax uh, forged yoke uh, using uh, Spicer weld yokes, solid body Spicer light crosses, uh, DOM tubing, and uh, he gave us the measurement, and we built it, and uh, balanced it on one of our uh, Axi line balancing machines, and uh, so here we are today. Good luck on the build. Right now, I'm hooking up the soft line with these Russell fittings. I'm going to connect it to the Saramoto pump for the return, and then I'll be doing the same thing for the feed line. We need a return line because this pump pumps so much fuel and needs to return back into the tank. And we're using their aeromotive regulator to help with the feed. A396 blueprint engine. The cubic inch size is a little different than you're normally used to hearing with a small block Chevy. That is because of obviously the size of the crankshaft, the size of the, the rods, and the bore size. It makes 430 horsepower, uh, and if we want to decide to put some other power adders such as nitrous, or even maybe if we wanted to supercharge it later on, it has all forged internals, so it's ready, it's good to go. Right now these guys are lowering it back down into Early Classics transmission mount and also into the factory mounts. The factory mounts have been set back in the six cylinder location to set the motor behind the normal V8 mounts. Uh, with the 62 truck you're able to do that and the 66 frame, so um, it gives a little bit more better weight balance to the truck and uh, makes it nicer to drive. So let's put it in there and we're getting close to breaking for lunch. Hey, I want a sponge bob. Uh, we'll give it that coconut. <laughs> coconut? Yeah. Coconut? Where are you from? How much is this good share is that? Uh, <laughs> two, four, six, fifty. Okay, let me bring my money. Here, right. no, I, I got it. I got it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, you got all this? What? Yeah. Are you you're sure? Well, I at least owe you the Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, well, that's you're the sweetest part. man in the world, sir. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, right now, we're just tacking up the mufflers and the V bands, and then we get to pull it all off. Weld it all back up, and then we'll put it back on there, and then we'll make a we'll make a mount for the cross or make a cross member so we can make a, the hangers to hold the exhaust and all the mufflers up. Now we're getting ready to install our front accessory drive. Our front accessory drive comes from professional products. What we have here is a complete front drive system. You have your water pump, your alternator, your power steering pump, your crank pulley, and water pump pulley. We will also be using an ARP because we started this truck yesterday as a bare chassis. This thing was completely blown apart. There was no suspension on it, no engine, no transmission, no exhaust, driveline, nothing. Right there. Can you go a little bit more? I'm sorry. Hold it. 
precision, we use a lot of precision for our suppliers, even for all the new cars, which is crazy. And I also use it on all the C10 builds. Now you got a pretty nice C10 as well, a couple of them? Couple of them. Couple Trying of to get them. one of them done. Yeah. Blazer's just hanging out. All right, all right. Well, you guys, if you guys in the Central Valley area, check out Chad's Auto Glass for all your glass needs. Also, too, precision rubber products, not just for the glass. They make door seals, window channels, scrapers, anything that you can need that has to be rubber. Check out Precision. Oh, my tiger blue. Try it again. Oh. Not, not. Nope. Try it. Why is he doing that? Try it again. No one died. Okay. Perfect. Oh, scratch it. Oh, scratch. The center one's look. We didn't have to cut the center one. Oh, scratch. Damn it. I don't uh, recommend it. Uh, Maybe do it in like four days. This two day thing, it's, it's rough. Right? That's how we live, I mean, we live rough. I mean, it's, you're definitely going to have to be hood rich. Um, you're probably going to take 20s off and put some sixes on it. Just, Maybe even some two footers. I mean, you never know. We like the dumps around here, so we got a couple that we work on <laughs> on a weekly basis. So uh, I think that's going to be our new game. So watch out, uh, Auto Revolution, later on, maybe next year, we're going to have a, a... 86 Caprice. Yes, and you don't want to see what's in the trunk. All right, I'll just let you know. Yeah. Yeah. This is Dying. when people stop being Dying. real. Tired. Beat. But you got it. You got it. You got it beat, though. Late nights, AutoZone, Saviors. How do you guys feel right now?
Oh man, I'm tired. really tired. Yeah. Very tired. Tired. You know, this, go to sleep. This build has kind of kicked our butt because uh, I'm running on about two and a half hours sleep. What do you guys got? About an One hour and a half. half. Yeah, about an hour and a half. half. And we drove five hours to get in here. So between the five of us, because we got a mute in the back of the truck, um, we've all had about eight hours of sleep. So yep. we're ready to go. Yeah. It was a neat project. I'd like to thank all the sponsors again. Everybody that helped out, you know, it made it, everything went smooth. Almost smooth. Almost. But we did it in 48 hours like we set out to do, which is, you know, I can't say enough for my guys to do what they did. Went above and beyond what I could even expect. Um, you know, it's hard to do in a, in a set month frame, say a year. But let alone to do what we did in 48 hours is, uh, you know, it was nice. Black Widow has us here in their booth at the Brothers show. You know, awesome. we're just done over it. <laughs>